G'day, welcome to episode 334 of Trent 365. Today is Wednesday the 31st of October. Spa associations. They're essentially the representative body for the industry, right? Now, I wrote an article on this this week um, on my thoughts of the state of the nation of the, the spa associations as I see them around the world. It's also on the podcast last week on the Inside the Spa Business Show. And as part of that discussion, what I proposed, what I suggested was this idea of a global spa association. And what I mean by that is essentially we get all of the spa associations around the world at a national or a state or a regional level Everybody contributes all of their resources, their benchmarks, their research, their KPIs, their guidelines, whatever they've got. They all go into the pool of resources. All of those associations pay a fee to be a member of the Global Spa Association. And then if the board of the Spa Association then decides that your particular KPI or your benchmark or your research, whatever you've got and contributed, if they consider that that is part of the global best practices, if you like, then that becomes a global spa association standard and you as the association that contributed get a fee for that. You basically get paid for contributing your your resource. So what that does is enable the people that are contributing the most to, to get some money back, to basically get reimbursed for their effort. It also allows though the people that don't have that much resource and that much contribution to still benefit from it, they just have to pay a little bit for it. And in the end, everybody across the globe gets access to essentially global best practices for the spa industry. I reckon it's actually workable. What do you think? Let me know. That's it for today. I will be back again tomorrow. See ya.